Dot the movie begins in Wyoming. Farmer Royal resides alongside his wife Cecilia and they both oversee their ranch. Royal had a childhood devoid of parental figures, with no recollection of his first nine years. The couple is blessed with two sons, Rhett, who aspires to follow in his father's footsteps as a professional bull rider, and Perry, who has a daughter named Amy. Rebecca, Royal's wife, has been absent for a period of nine months, causing Cecilia to frequently dream about her, although they choose not to disclose these dreams to Perry. Royal's fellow rancher and neighbor, Wayne, possesses a ranch of his own and is in need of medical attention due to his limited time left. One evening, Wayne experiences an unsettling sensation in the atmosphere and, upon consulting a mysterious altar, contacts Cecilia to warn her of an impending event. However, Cecilia dismisses his warning, assuming Wayne's ramblings are the result of intoxication. The following morning, Royal and Perry discover that two cattle have gone missing from their ranch. While they search the fences for the absent animals, they encounter Autumn, a peculiar young woman. Autumn tells Royal that she is a poet and is looking for some inspiration so she needs to camp on his ranch for a few days. When she reveals she'll be paying for it, Royal lets her stay. Royal and his sons continue their search to locate the missing cattle and bump into Wayne's three sons, Luke, Billy, and Trevor. Luke informs Royal that according to the county assessment, his fences are nearly half a mile over their property and gives him 30 days to move them. After they leave, Royal continues his search and arrives at the west patch of his ranch, where he's shocked to find a vast, endless pit. First he throws a rock inside it, but he doesn't hear a single noise. Then he tries to put his hand inside the pit and suddenly gets a vision where the sheriff has come to his house with bad news. Terrified, Royal takes out his hand and returns home, where he's surprised to find the same thing from the vision. Acting Sheriff Joy is here to tell the family that since nine months have passed with no clues, the police won't look for Rebecca anymore. Royal is creeped out by the pit's future telling powers and the next day, he tries to fill the hole with soil, but the dirt disappears and he can't make any progress. Next he tries to cover it up, but the hole swallows the canvas covering too. As he yells in frustration, Royal spots a bison with two arrows piercing its body, but the bison just strolls away. Afterward Royal rides toward Autumn's camp to check on her, but Autumn tries to ask about Royal's prospects of selling the ranch, which he bluntly refuses and leaves. Later that night, Perry and Rhett go to a bar and drink a lot. Perry starts feeling sick and goes outside, where he accidentally pukes next to Trevor and scares away his date. A furious Trevor tries to start a fight, but Rhett quickly comes out and knocks him down in seconds. Then he asks Perry to wait there while he brings the truck. In Rhett's absence, Trevor picks himself up and brings up the subject of Rebecca, which makes Perry lose his temper and beat Trevor up until he dies. As soon as Red arrives, they decide to load Trevor into their truck and escape. In the middle of the road, the bison with arrows almost makes them crash, but luckily they stop the truck just in time. Perry and Red return to their ranch, and when Royal comes to check on them, he immediately sees the body. For a moment Royal considers calling the sheriff but then he decides to help and orders Rhett to clean the truck while he disposes of the body. In the meantime, Luke and Billy are looking for their brother and find his belt buckle outside the bar. They come to the ranch to ask about him and Perry tries his best to keep them away from the shed. However the brothers force their inside and find the truck, but no body. Then Luke sees marks that indicate someone has been riding away and starts his vehicle to follow. In the wilderness, Royal brings Trevor's body to the pit. When his shirt gets stuck in the fence, Royal just takes it off and keeps going to finally dump the body inside the hole. Suddenly a flashlight lights up his face, and Royal turns to find Autumn. After promising she won't tell anyone, Autumn comes closer and pushes Royal into the pit. Then she takes the shirt and runs away. Seconds later, Luke and Billy go back to the ranch after finding nothing, but Cecilia kicks them out. In the morning, Royal finds himself lying unconscious on a patch of land with a wound on his foot. He returns home and finds out that his boys have already told their mother about Trevor's death, so they decide to keep the secret to protect the family. Cecilia takes care of Royal's wound so he can skip the hospital. Meanwhile Luke calls Joy and asks her to search for Trevor, giving her the belt buckle as a clue. Red meets with his crush Maria and asks her out. Since she was in the bar the night before, he asks her not to tell anybody the brothers had been there. Royal and Perry visit their lawyer, who suggests they hand over the piece of land to their neighbors because they never lose a legal battle. Royal decides to go see Wayne to try to solve things peacefully. Luke welcomes him in and sees Royal's wound, getting suspicious. 
While waiting for Wayne, Royal finds a business card belonging to a geologist. When he finally gets to see Wayne, Royal tries to offer 200 acres of land from his south pasture to sort out the matter, yet Wayne is obsessed with the west portion. He talks vaguely but implies he knows about the pit and that he bribed County Assessor Carl to get him on his side. In the end, Royal decides to take the matter to court. In the meantime, Amy finds Autumn walking near the hills while looking at some symbols on the rocks, which she's been drawing for years without knowing the meaning. Amy explains those look like Royal's family brand. Autumn asks about Royal and is surprised when she finds out that he's still alive. At the same time, Royal reaches Autumn's camp and finds his shirt on the clothesline. Then he checks her tent and finds strange stones placed on a pile of books, making him suspicious of her motives. Afterward, Royal throws the shirt into the pit. At night, Royal aggressively tells his family that he wants to move the cattle from the west pasture to the east pasture, which makes his family think he is losing his mind. When Amy says she's been hanging out with Autumn, Royal gets furious and orders everyone not to interact with her. The next day the family moves the cattle and when an animal wanders off, Royal rushes after it to catch it before it can reach the pit. In the evening, Royal sneaks into the barn and pulls out an old picture of a mysterious family. Suddenly Autumn enters the barn and reveals to Royal that she belongs to some sort of cult. She also asks him if he remembers anything from his life before the age of nine, which he doesn't answer. Autumn has a missing past too, and her search for answers brought her here. Royal asks about the color yellow. Autumn says that to her it means power. In the end, Autumn asks Royal what he saw in that pit and how he survived it. Royal refuses to answer, but he does start to remember. After falling through the pit, Royal found himself on the ground, where he witnessed huge floodlights all focused on him. He saw some army outposts nearby where soldiers were holding guns all pointed at him, while behind them, there were several oil rigs exploiting his lands under the logo by nine. When Royal turned around, he saw Autumn and other people all dressed in yellow. Joy and his own son were also in the crowd. Suddenly, Cecilia came out and walked towards Royal, informing him that he had died two years ago and that this land didn't belong to them anymore. Then Cecilia told him to run right before Luke came out of the crowd and fired his gun at Royal, which injured his foot. Luke and the guards came after Royal, but he just jumped back into the pit and returned to his time. The next day, Joy goes to the grocery store and sees a guy stealing some stuff, so she immediately tackles him and arrests him. On the way to the station, the man tells her that people keep disappearing in the area. Meanwhile Wayne orders his sons to offer Royal a million dollars for the land, but Luke refuses to negotiate with the family. In the woods, Autumn continues to dig for rocks near the area with the symbols, and when she comes across the bison with the arrows, she takes one from the poor animal. Afterward she goes to town to pick up medicine for her bipolarity. When she sees the ranch truck parked outside the bar and finds Perry, who agrees to hang out with her regardless of his dad's orders. Cecilia is also in town and for a moment she thinks she sees Rebecca in a truck, but the vehicle goes away. Later in the evening, Red is getting ready for another bull riding competition when he's approached by Joy, who informs him his blood was found on Trevor's buckle. Red lies and says he hadn't been there that night. After telling his dad about the buckle, Red joins the competition and finally wins, so he goes to the bar to celebrate with Maria. After kissing her goodnight, Red stops by a car to take a leak, only to discover it belongs to a cop. He ends up getting arrested, and Joy uses the chance to ask him a few questions again. Red finally confesses to hitting Trevor, however he doesn't mention Perry and says that he went inside the bar after the fight. Meanwhile Royal arrives at the station to bail out his son, and while Joy is interrogating Rhett, he steals Trevor's buckle from Joy's table. While returning home, Royal tells Rhett that he's been lying about his family, his parents didn't die when he was a kid. Only his father died, and when it happened Royal ran away in fear. When they make it back to the ranch, Royal throws the buckle into the pit. The next day, Joy visits a man called Frank, who tells her about some weird rumors surrounding the caves in the area. Apparently people heard weird noises coming from them and someone even saw a mastodon, however Joy is skeptical. Meanwhile Royal visits Autumn and finally tells her that the pit showed him the future, making Autumn conclude that Royal traveled through time. In exchange for this information, Royal makes Autumn promise not to mention anything about the pit to his family. As soon as Royal shakes hands with Autumn, the mountain behind him disappears, only to come back when their hands separate. This is noticed by Joy and she refuses to believe it, 
but when she goes to the station, there are reports of many people seeing the same. Meanwhile at the mountain, Amy finds Trevor's body and tells the family, so Royal has no choice but to call the cops. At that station, Luke insists that Joy should arrest Rhett because his blood is on Trevor's buckle. Joy opens her drawer to bring out the buckle and discovers that it is missing. The moment is interrupted by Royal's call about the body. Then the story shows Wayne nine months ago, when he was still healthy. A worker of his came to show him a mysterious rock he found, which Wayne recognized as something he saw as a kid. He ordered his employees to bring him anything strange they found, and his obsession with the pit began. Back to the present, Joy and her team recover Trevor's body from the mountains and send it for a post-mortem. Then Joy asks the family a bunch of questions about the night of Trevor's disappearance and learns that Rhett had been missing for two hours that evening. When is Joy about to leave? Perry tells her that Rhett was with a girl on that night, and Joy immediately texts an officer to interrogate Rhett who is currently in town and has no idea about the appearance of Trevor's body. Perry tries to call Rhett to inform him about these new details, but Rhett doesn't pick up the call. He's currently waiting for Maria, but the inspector finds him first and begins asking questions. Rhett senses something is going on and quickly picks up the call, where Perry informs him about the story that he told Joy. Rhett tells the officer that he was with a girl, and when the cop asks about the identity of the girl, Maria shows up and lies for him as promised, saying Rhett was with her the whole time. While Joy brings the bad news to Wayne and his sons, Perry goes looking for Autumn in case she knows something about Trevor, but she doesn't. Autumn takes the chance to ask for a picture of Rebecca, which is weird but Perry shows her anyway. After having an argument with Cecilia over his change in attitude later, Royal goes to check the area where they found the body and discovers one of those strange rocks. He breaks it open at the ranch and finds a black mineral he can't identify. Sometime later, Joy goes to see Maria and tells her Trevor was found dead, so Maria confesses anything to avoid being a murder accomplice. Joy immediately finds Red and brings him to the station before calling Perry, who also comes over to check on his brother. By interrogating them separately, Joy tries to trick both Perry and Red into confessing their crimes, but before they can say anything, Royal arrives at the station with a lawyer and saves his sons from getting arrested. However during the interrogation, Joy tells a bunch of lies to create a rift between the brothers, which leads to an argument between them outside the police station, which Royal tries to sort out peacefully. While driving his boys back to the house, Royal subtly suggests that if he had the ability to turn back time, he would do so to protect his sons. The next morning, Wayne's wife Patricia arrives in the county to plan a funeral for Trevor. She has an argument with Wayne because she wants revenge against Royal's family and to prove their murderers, but Wayne is still obsessed with the West Pasture and can only think about it. Back to Royal, he pays a visit to County Assessor Carl, and tries to clear up the issue regarding his West Pasture, but the corrupt officer refuses to listen to anything and reminds Royal of the hearing at the end of the month. Royal loses his temper and threatens Carl that he'll bury him in a big hole in the earth. In the meantime, the forensic doctor reveals to Joy that they found some metal lacerations on Trevor's torso. To their shock, the test also reveals that Trevor had been dead for less than 10 hours from the time he was found. Later at Trevor's funeral, Carl informs Cecilia that he has moved the hearing to the next week because of Royal's threat. Patricia intentionally opens the casket and observes a sort of guilt on Perry's face, making her sure that he's the one who killed her son. Billy sings in his brother's memory and Autumn compliments him to make a connection. Red tries to approach Maria, but she's too scared of the police and avoids him. Royal goes to Wayne's private bar and finds Autumn, so he challenges her to a game of cards. He decides to cheat and win her precious necklace, which has the same kind of stone that Royal found in the mountain. To their surprise, the bison comes to see the game. That same night, Wayne notices that the rock his employee found has black matter inside and it's now moving. This makes Wayne get out of bed and visit Royal's West Pastures, where he runs over the fence and finally gets to see the pit. Suddenly Royal arrives and attacks Wayne to protect his secret. However after a violent struggle, Wayne hits Royal with his prized stone and leaves in his vehicle, laughing like a maniac. When Wayne makes it home, he celebrates his discovery as he has flashbacks of his childhood. When he was a kid, Wayne had seen the pit and watched how a young boy covered in a black substance came out of it. Terrified. Little Wayne had run away. In the present, the excitement causes Wayne to have a stroke and he's rushed to the hospital. Meanwhile Royal is falling through the pit and sees Trevor's body plus other faces like Autumn. However this is a nightmare, so Royal wakes up and simply goes home. The next morning, 
Cecilia hears some noises in the house and finds Autumn, who is looking for her necklace. Cecilia doesn't believe her and threatens her with a gun to make her leave. On her way out, Autumn points out Royal's changes in behavior and says he's been keeping secrets. Royal goes to see the geologist from the business card he found in Wayne's house. She explains that Wayne contacted her six weeks ago because he was acquiring some land and wanted to get it surveyed. Royal shows her the stone on Autumn's necklace, and while she inspects it, he looks around her office and finds a photograph where she's standing in front of a makeshift tent with the same by nine logo he saw in the future. Scared, Royal decides to take Autumn's necklace back and leaves. Then he tries contacting the by nine mining company but none of the numbers he finds are working. Later in the day, Cecilia is distracted by the doubt Autumn planted in her and almost starts a fire in the kitchen. While opening the windows, she finds a dead young bear outside, and at first Cecilia decides to bury the animal. However she changes her mind in the middle of digging and ends up dragging the creature's body into the shed. In town, Joy asks a dishwasher from the bar to confirm that he saw Perry fighting with Trevor in the parking lot on the night of Trevor's disappearance and murder. Perry meets with Autumn and they talk about Rebecca. Autumn believes that maybe Rebecca fell into the pit but Perry disagrees, he thinks Rebecca left on purpose. Rebecca had always wanted to move to California but Perry couldn't abandon his dad and the ranch, and the couple argued about it often. The night of the disappearance, Perry and Rebecca entered into the same argument, after which she left the house and never came back. In the meantime, Red meets with Maria and they end up going to a motel to spend the night doing the dirty. However Maria leaves without a word after Red falls asleep. At the ranch, Royal smashes the amber on Autumn's necklace and finds a black mineral, which matches what he saw inside the pit. As soon as the substance comes into contact with Royal's skin, Royal gets another vision from the future in which he sees himself lying dead on Cecilia's lap, and beside the body, he sees Autumn dressed in all yellow wearing the necklace he just broke. The vision disappears as soon as the black substance on Royal's palm evaporate. Scared by the meaning of the vision, Royal drives to the pit and finds Autumn standing near it. He offers to give her a lift back to her camp, and as soon as Autumn sits on his bike, Royal tries to scare her by speeding the vehicle. Out of fear, Autumn jumps off the bike and injures her leg. While lying on the ground, she demands her necklace back, and when Royal reveals that he's crushed it, she goes hysterical. Autumn starts speaking about time travel and black minerals on Royal's farm but Royal only screams in anger, asking her to shut up. He threatens to kill her if she ever dares to tell any of her stories about time travel to his family, then he leaves Autumn in the middle of nowhere. When Royal makes it to her camp, he immediately burns it down. Meanwhile Joy goes to see the local prosecutor to tell him she's ready to arrest Royal's sons, and at first the prosecutor supports her because she has lots of evidence. However Joy also mentions that the tests indicate the body had only been dead for a few hours and that she thinks those tests are wrong but the prosecutor still orders her to drop the case. The next morning, Royal goes to church, which is weird because he's not a believer unlike his wife. This makes Cecilia remember Autumn's comment on his changed behavior. Cecilia is having trouble accepting all the curious things happening lately and her faith is suffering from it. Seeing Royal taking the Lord's Supper is too much and Cecilia rushes out of the church. Meanwhile Autumn tries to walk to her camp with an injured foot and comes across a bear in the woods. The bear walks towards Autumn and sniffs her but doesn't attack her, and when Autumn whispers, yellow, a voice from the bear tells her to, show him. Meanwhile Red goes to see Maria, who breaks up with him. She wants more in life and doesn't believe him when he says he'll leave the ranch someday. Red swears he will, but when he refuses to confess what happened with Trevor, Maria can see his family matters more and leaves. At Wayne's house, Patricia and Luke talk to Wayne's lawyer and are shocked to learn that the will indicates all business holdings and land would go to the youngest son Billy. They both agree that Billy is unfit to manage the family business, so they must alter the will while Wayne is still alive. Patricia will leave the house for a few days and try to convince the lawyer to make the changes. Out on the road, Carl is driving when suddenly he sees a bison, which causes him to lose control of his car and gets him in a freaky accident. Back to Autumn. She finds Billy hunting in the woods and decides to show him the pit while telling him a story. Now Billy finally understands why his father wants to buy this land so badly, and when he goes home, he tells Wayne that he was right. Back to Autumn, she finally reaches her camp and finds it burned down, meaning she's lost her medicine. She immediately goes to a pharmacy to get more, 
and now she must call the person that manages her trust fund to ask for money so that she can buy medicine and get a motel room to stay the night. Later at the motel, Autumn inscribes the occult symbol that looks like Royal's family brand on her chest. Then she meets with Perry and finally tells him his father tried to kill her, also mentioning he was probably the one who murdered Trevor. Desperate to hide the truth about Trevor, Perry tries to handle the situation, but Autumn is totally out of control. She threatens to go to the sheriff and reveal to her how Royal tried to dispose of the body, and if he won't do it, then she'll do it herself. Not wanting his family to suffer the consequences of his crime, Perry decides to write a confession letter that he leaves at Joy's office. Autumn returns to the motel and finds Billy in her bathtub asking questions. She explains the pit isn't about death but about time. When Perry returns home, he lets the family know about the confession letter. This triggers an argument between the brothers and Red tries to attack Perry because his confession may bring down Red and Royal too for helping with the body. Perry reveals he did under threat from Autumn, causing Royal to get furious at the disobedience and to attack Perry too, breaking a glass off the shelf that accidentally hits Amy's forehead. She runs out of the house bleeding and sees a police car approaching their house. It's Joy, who has come to arrest Perry. Then a flashback begins, showing a pre-teen Perry losing control of himself and knocking out a young Trevor. When Royal tried to ask Perry why he hit Trevor, his son had no answer. In the present, Royal and Cecilia had to pay $500,000 to bail out Perry, and the family doesn't have that kind of money. Cecilia decides to give up her ranch papers to bail out her son, but there's a condition. If Perry fails to appear before the court on the day of his hearing, then the ranch would be taken by the government. As soon as Perry comes out of prison, he reunites with Amy, who has started to draw the family symbol in her notebook. After having seen his dad react strongly to his hanging out with Autumn, Perry's gotten suspicious of her theory of Rebecca being in the pit. He asks Royal about it, and when he swears he doesn't know anything, Perry doesn't believe him. At Wayne's house, Joy brings them the news of Perry's freedom and Luke gets mad, but Billy mentions Wayne's crazy childhood stories, saying Trevor's death may be related. After Joy leaves, Billy takes Luke to see the pit. At the ranch, a mother bear comes looking for her child. When the animal sees Cecilia, she immediately charges toward her and attacks her, and Cecilia has no other option but to pull the trigger on her. The bear is alive but suffering, so Cecilia swallows her guilt and offers a mercy shot. Meanwhile Billy meets with Autumn and tells her he crushed his father's favorite rock. He found the same black mineral from the pit and tasted it, which caused him to have visions of the future. He saw himself and Autumn beside him, acting like a leader of Mother Earth. Autumn asks if Royal was in his visions too, and when Billy says yes, Autumn asks him to stop him before he stops her. Then the two of them kiss and Autumn gives Billy the family mark on his chest. Moments later, Royal's truck breaks in the middle of the road. At that moment Billy shows up and offers a ride, and during the trip, Billy confesses he knows about the pit and reveals a gun. He takes Royal to a closed-down parlor and threatens him until he apologizes for everything. Then Billy orders Royal to leave Autumn alone, and before he leaves, he says something horrible will happen to his granddaughter. In the meantime, Autumn meets with Perry and tells him everything. At Wayne's house, Luke gets tired of waiting and tries to kill his father, but Billy arrives just in time and pushes him away. Meanwhile Joy goes to see Frank but she doesn't find him at home. However she notices Royal's family's brand drawn on a large piece of rock nearby that points toward the forest. As she walks further, she sees a black trail that leads her deep into the woods. Joy follows it and comes out on the other side of the woods, finding herself standing in front of a large patch of land where she sees thousands of bison running together. The biggest surprise is the sight of a small colony of Native Americans settled near a stream. It's almost as if she was looking into the past, which would explain the sighting of the Mastodon. When Royal returns home, Perry takes him for a ride and they end up going to the pit, so Royal finally confesses the truth about his past. He doesn't belong to this current timeline, he's actually a kid from 1886 who jumped into the pit. When Royal was just eight years old, he accidentally shot his father while hunting for a deer in the woods. He tried to save his father, but the bullet was too deep inside his chest. Royal couldn't gather enough strength to reveal the news to his family, so instead he ran away. Eventually he came across the pit and fell. When Royal crawled out of the pit, he realized that he was in 1968, and the first thing he saw was young Wayne. Royal wandered around until he found the ranch, so he lied to the people living there, saying that he didn't remember anything about his family. Out of sympathy, 
The ranch owners adopted the kid, and Royal kept a picture of his original family hidden in the barn. Seeing Autumn's story is confirmed, Perry believes she was right about Rebecca too and decides to go after his wife. Royal can't do anything but watch his son fall into the abyss, and suddenly the pit disappears. This is all watched by a smug Autumn from afar. The next morning, Billy takes care of Wayne by putting the crushed black ore on his dad's lips and eyes. Luke insists they should make business with the pit, but Billy informs him that it has disappeared to make him happy. Bill offers him a deal, he can have the entire property because Billy isn't interested in it, and in exchange, Luke mustn't try to kill their father again. After Billy leaves, Luke starts digging holes on the border of his ranch near the west pasture in order to find the pit again. Eventually he strikes a shovel in a ditch and notices a black liquid coming out of it. At first he thinks it's oil, but soon he realizes that it's the same black mineral that he saw inside the supernatural pit. Before he can come out of the ditch, a portal from the past opens, releasing thousands of bison into the pasture like aimless creatures. Meanwhile Royal goes to look for Autumn at the motel to kill her, but she hides just in time and escapes through the bathroom window. When Royal comes out, he sees her leave in Billy's truck. Afterward the couple goes to the bank, where Autumn paces nervously waiting for her trust fund transference to arrive. Maria works there and points out she can't have a gun inside a bank, but Autumn yells at her and Billy comes in her defense. At the ranch, Cecilia notices Perry is missing and she's upset, but she doesn't tell Red yet not to worry him before his show. In the evening, the family goes to see Red at his bull riding competition. Royal tries to talk to Red, but he's losing his mind and can barely share what happened so security takes him away. While the family watches the competition, Autumn calls Amy and asks her to hand over the phone to Royal. She tells Royal that she's in town, and Royal immediately leaves to find her. Cecilia and Amy watch Rhett's effort, but unfortunately he loses. Bored, Amy leaves her seat and is shocked to find her mother Rebecca near the parking lot. Rebecca tells Amy that she's hiding from someone and proceeds to take her daughter away. By the time Cecilia realizes that Amy has disappeared, she goes crazy trying to find her, but it's too late and she has a breakdown. Unaware of all this, Red tries to compete again and sees his family isn't there watching him. The bitterness he feels allows him to win this time, and he's shocked to see Maria is there for him, unlike his family. After the event is over, Red tells Maria he's done with his family and accepts to leave with her. When Royal arrives in town, Autumn is waiting and immediately opens fire before jumping into the truck with Billy. Royal pursues them relentlessly firing shots in their direction. As the vehicles draw nearer, Royal manages to hit Billy, instantly ending his life. The truck loses control and careens down the hill. Without hesitation, Royal follows the truck's descent and discovers Autumn, injured and struggling to escape the wreckage. However, before Royal can harm her, a stampede of bison charges toward them. Thinking quickly, Royal takes cover beneath Billy's vehicle while Autumn desperately tries to defend herself from the deadly hooves of the charging animals. The bison reach the road and forcefully collide with the truck, causing it to collide with a billboard. Once the herd has passed, Royal notices a peculiar bison with an arrow lodged in its body. Approaching the creature, he removes the arrow. As the bison departs, Royal notices a scar on Autumn's forehead, reminiscent of the bruise Amy received from a glass during their recent argument. In that moment, it dawns on Royal that Autumn is actually Amy from a different timeline. Shocked and disturbed, he brings her home and lays her on Amy's bed. Finally, he confesses to Cecilia that he shot his father and fled, but he omits any mention of the pit or his time-traveling origins. At this juncture, Royal believes that his past actions have tainted his family, resulting in their suffering. His sole desire is to reunite his family, yet Cecilia believes it to be an impossible feat. Frustrated and overwhelmed, she vents her frustration by kicking the dining table, sending plates crashing to the ground mirroring the shattered state of her own life. Cecilia informs Royal that Perry and Amy are no longer present, prompting him to reveal that Amy is indeed with them, albeit in an unexpected manner. Thanks for watching please like share and subscribe.